We're going to get anxious in our lives, but did you know that you can help rid yourself of anxiety with every breath you take? Dr. Nick joins us with more. <laughs> I love the simplicity of that. I was just thinking one of the one of the twelve step lines is keep it simple, mm -hmm. and I don't know that there's really anything more simple than breathing. Right. And I. I, I just, I also think though, because it is so simple and because it is so, in many ways, easy, we really don't give it the credit it's due. And that's interesting, and that's interesting to think we about because I don't, I know I we don't. don't. It's so automatic, we, we, we don't think about it. We almost roll our eyes at it when, when, when I say to someone, okay, are you breathing? Or how's your, how's your breathing? And, it, it, and, and one of the things that to me makes it so important to always consider powerful is that let's say someone's having a panic attack, okay? okay. That's the body. They mm -hmm. feel I'm having a heart attack, okay? Right. What does that tell you? Get back in the body. Mm. Breathing gets us back in the body. But what we do is we breathe, and I know I do. We live in a very complex, fast society. So we're always moving and we don't stop and consciously, consciously breathe. Slowly, it's that inhale for as long as you want to do it and exhale even longer. Mm. And it's focusing not so much on the anxiety at all, but on the breathing. Which can get you out of your head. Yes, and into the body. Mm, I see. I mean, think about it. When one dies, they don't have breath. So let's breathe. <laughs> we know we're alive we're, when we're breathing. That's right. <laughs> Just breathe deeper to get more alive. <laughs> but, but don't you think we have to do it consciously? And I think that's part yes. of the struggle. We're like, okay, 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 okay. I'll breathe, I'll breathe. I'm like, no, you really need to make it, especially if there's anxiety promoting or, or some kind of s s trauma setback or flashback. B the breathing is important. And one of the things that we can do is use words like in. We can think of in and then out, out. But, and, and make them as long as you want to or that you can. I think the exhaling is even more powerful because you can just feel it just w coming out of you. You're right. And just l let it go for long, long times. Whitney, it's, it, it, you know, again, it, it's like, oh, that's okay. Well, that's going to stop my anxiety. Yes. Or at least it's going to help. Of course it's going to help. Right. It's, of course it's going to help well, the anxiety. It's interesting because I, on my um, Apple Watch, I have this um, activity app, okay? And so it does different things. Uh, movement, it tells you how many minutes you've exercised. Uh, and then it'll tell you, like, time to stand up if you've been sitting too long. And But the other one, and that, it kind of surprised me that of the big three, here we are, is, is breathe. Breathing. And so it'll remind me, it'll be like, stop for a minute, do deep breathing, and I'm sorry, until today I was kind of like, yeah, 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 never done it, but I will now. <laughs> no. It's that important, huh? It is, and I think where it becomes most important is at night, mm. when we're shutting down the day. It's, it's kind of, I sit out in, on my rocker, which is, which is itself relaxing, yeah. especially with the weather as it is oh, right now, yes. and I'm just, I'm just breathing, I'm just, and, but, but it, 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 it pulls you back into your body. Mm. I, I just, we leave our bodies when we get anxious and, and, and concerned about something. We, we're pulled into, into the environment when what we want to do is stay here. This is where the power center is to control life, mm. here. Yeah. This is the power center, right? Yeah. I mean, I, whatever happens, I can have some control, and the control is almost letting go of it by just simply breathing. But it must be deep. Deep, okay. It must be deep, you just can't. I mean, talk, haven't you ever seen people in a panic? I have, I've been there. Right. I've been, and, and what we're trying to do is calm that person down with breathing. Yeah, and look, sometimes, I, I look, I've been insulted before when, um, I'm having a conversation or, an, or maybe an argument with someone, a discussion, a lively discussion, and they go, take a deep breath. Mm. And I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But you know, truly, that's mm -hmm. probably when I should take a deep breath. No, that, no, no. You're 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 right where I am. It's it's like we 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 dismiss it. We dismiss it, and I understand why because it feels like we're dismissing the person's anxiety. Yeah. Relax, calm down, take a deep breath. Chill out. We're not trying to dismiss the anxiety, uh, the, the person. Right. We're trying to get, dismiss the anxiety. Mm -hmm. And you're right, it feels almost insulting. Right. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really in a bad place. I know you are. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I know you are. That's <laughs> why we're doing something that doesn't really cost. I, 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 we have this notion that we gotta pay for everything. You don't have to pay for breathing. <laughs> that you don't have it's to go to the free. pharmacy to get it. It's free, <laughs> it's not a pill. Yeah. It's, it's just slowing down and who's more responsible for my body than me? Oh, I can't control the outside circumstances, but I can have some control over my body. And, and that, not to say that there aren't other ways of calming down. Oh, Whitney, sure. Some people exercise. love yoga, meditation. My, my dad would walk oh, every day Absolutely. for 30 minutes. Thank God. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I still think we just don't want to, uh, again, overlook or minimize the power of breath. Of, of that, that just deep, deep. And before you know it, you're almost in a meditative state. True. True. Uh, you're almost in a meditative state. I think you have to do that to, to get there, so you're right. You're and right. then if we do it enough, it can almost become unconscious. Unconscious meaning that it's the default. Yeah. So I don't have to tell myself to breathe. I just start, okay. Deep breathing. I'm just, you know, you, you're aware of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a powerful source of, uh, of, of calming and anxiety reduction. It really is. I, I wish people, I've said this, I, wouldn't it be great if people would get together in groups and just breathe? Say nothing. Yeah. Just breathe. Just, breathe. just But do it in a group. I mean, Interesting. <laughs> and then afterwards, like, what happened? Uh -huh. what, what happened to you? Where did you go? What, what you know? Yeah. Could you Maybe really the music could help. Your mind. Maybe the music could help. Always. I think there's some yeah. calm apps now you can there, get oh my gosh that that can there help are. take you down all this yeah. adds in but i just don't want us to lose the focus the focus is on the breath the breath thank you the for deep, that deep breathing deep deep breathing thank you for putting an exclamation point on yes. the end of breath today yes. for all of us yes we will mm -hmm. go into the week ahead and then just much more calm. so let it out let it out thanks dr nick more Weekends with Whitney after this.